by trying to understand your answer to one of Senator Cruz's questions, and if, if this is really a question, not a suggestion. Do I understand your position to be that there are two sexes, but there can be more than two genders? Um, I wouldn't even say two, and, you know, we've got... I can't believe they have the hearing in Congress for this. I can't believe that this went, uh, is going through Congress. Are you serious right now? More important things going in the world. We're, we're, we're on the verge of nuclear disaster with a, with a world power. And these people are here debating lunacy. <laughs> it's, it's funny to me. This madness, like a couple of years ago, would you ever think, could you ever thought that we would get to this point? Lopez here as well, but there's also the definition of intersex. I think that often these conversations were conflating sex and gender, and I do want to affirm here that trans same. women are are women. That is their gender. Okay, but but I'm trying to understand. Are you, do you make a distinction between sex and gender? Yes, sir. Okay, explain that. Just do you think there are more than two sexes? Um, I believe that there's a, a definition for intersex as well that I want to acknowledge. Um, but is sex that? is okay, assigned so at birth. Three, I'm just trying to understand. I'm thoroughly confused. So you're... That's the point. You're not supposed to understand. The point is to confuse you. The point is to confuse everybody. That's, that's the whole game. Confusion. They're not meant to understand it. You have to confuse the gender in order to fuse the gender. To get that transhumanism going. I might be sounding like some crazy teen for your hat mofo, but man. All the things that's going around you telling me there's no deeper agenda to all this all this thing just springing up out of out of out of thin air. Next thing you know, there's one movement starting up and another movement starting up. There's something going on, man. Come on. You really think th there's no come on, man. You're born I'm talking about biology. Male, female, and what else? I believe that intersex is also acknowledged. Intersex. But again, I, I'm not a doctor here. What I can't and what say is, intersex mean? is that there's a difference. You don't have to be a doctor. To <laughs> I, can't. I can't. I can't. I can't do this with a straight face. It's a very serious topic. I want to be serious. But it's funny to me. Because you just look look at this person here, man. Look at this person right here. Look look at that person. That's a that's a crazy person right there. She looks like someone that has started a movement like this. If you look at all this movement <laughs> If you look at all this movement, all this feminism, nonsense, women empowerment, shite movement going on. If you look at the people that, that, that are leading this movement, they look like they should be leading those movements. <laughs> you don't see look at that woman that that started the Me Too movement. Like, come on, man. There's a rejects that people... Come on, man. Come on, man. No options out there for them out, out there in the dating market. So, like, well, they need some sort of movement, some sort of purpose to their life. So, let's start this movement. Since we're not having a good life, let's fuck, off, let's fuck everyone's life up. Let's make everybody else as miserable as we are. Like, do you see Lupita starting a movement? Do you see Scarlett Johansson starting a movement? You see, uh, what's her name? You see Naomi Campbell starting a stupid ass movement like this? Do you see Arwin starting a movement? <laughs> Do you see Elrond? Elrond's daughter. Do you see Elrond's daughter start the movement? <laughs> this, this is a crazy person. Difference between sex and gender. And I think in these conversations, we're conflating the two. Well, well but, but I want to start with sex. Okay, there's male, there's female. When a baby's born, before the baby has had time to th to even have a sense of self, I'm following you. Come on, male, female, and intersex is a third. Sex. I believe that is true, but I would defer to Dr. Lopez as I'm not a physician. Okay, you don't have to be a doctor to look at a child and be like, "Oh, that's male." Look at another child and be like, "Oh, that's female." So you have to defer. To oh my. Oh, uh, they're giving this people platform for a reason. Um, and how many genders are there? 
I think the gender is expansive and the definitions are. Well, damn. Calling me pink and call me clitoris. What in the world is going on here, man? <laughs> it's ever expanding. It's ever expanding. I can't keep up. Can anyone? Get it? It's ever expanding. Oh my lord! Always growing. Um, you know, today I can tell you, more I talk than to five, young people more that than, talk about non-binary as more than five. I think the gender is not a binary answer. How many genders are there? Yes, one or two, one to five. Answer yes or no. What? Come That's on. What I'm trying but to is, say. Are there more than five genders? I'm just trying to understand. Are there more than five genders? Well, I mean, I think that there was a time where women wearing pants didn't feel like it was a That's not the same thing. <laughs> oh my God, this is crazy. Appropriate for their gender, and yet I'm wearing pants today. Are there, I think that there are ways that we question. express our are there more than are five expensive. Are there more than five <laughs> pants? He's getting frustrated. He's getting so frustrated. He's in Congress right now. I bet you in his mind is like, Oh my, this bitch crazy. Man, get this lunatic out of here. In his mind, he, wa he wants to burst out right now, but he can't. He has to, <laughs> he has to be professional. <laughs> I can't be into politics, man. I, oh man, I can't be in politics. I don't know how to brighten my tongue. I would just, I just say whatever comes to my mind. That's the kind of person I am. Five. I wouldn't subject myself to naming how many genders there are, but what I can say is, is there that gender is a reflection. Number? Excuse me? There's an infinite number of genders? I think depending on your... Answer! Oh my lord! What? <laughs> Answer the question! The culture, there are a lot of different genders that, that exist. And I can also say that it's a term that's evolving. If you look at young people today, they really don't lean into the binary of only woman. You see her right here. This is the result of like decades and decades of programming of liberal far left lunacy programming the previous video where where, where where i talked about that little girl little 13 year old girl that's pushing back on this good for her because the other kids are too cowardly or too shy to say nothing because they're afraid of the pushback and a lot of, a lot of other kids are susceptible to being programmed because believe it or not conservative people conservative mindsets are a lot harder to program than these liberals so if you're being programmed from that young an age successfully being programmed you're gonna grow up to be like this this crazy person right here right that, that, that that's that's who you're gonna grow up to be this this and man so i think that it's incumbent upon us not to legislate on this but create space for them to explore what you can see no ring on her finger right their identities are what their gender identities are <clears throat> let's get back to athletics I, I think i understand what you're saying there are three sexes male female and intersex i believe that to be true but again i'm not a physician and right? there are an infinite number of genders because gender is a mental state gender is about expression and i think that there are a variety of ways that you can express your everything is feelings feelings how i feel cater to my feelings it's all feelings. It's like we're living in one big Bollywood movie. <laughs> it's just feelings, romantic or some telenovela type shit. No, in the real world, no, no one cares about your stupid ass feelings. Right? There's a coup going on in Russia right now for some reason. The Wagner group or whatever decided to like overdo, overstep. China right now is surpassing everyone in science and technology, taking over the world, building bridges and like advancement in technology is crazy why are you guys are here talking about horse crap really the west has reached the peak of advancement if you didn't know know now they've reached the peak they've progressed so far they've reached that top the apex regression is starting gender okay so there's infinite number all right let's go back to the to the biology male female boy girl okay biologically do males have an advantage over females biologically in sports 
Again, I'm not a physician. And I, I can't speak to that. What's your real world experience? Um, it depends. I mean, there are some people who are born male that I'm faster than if I were to sprint against them and some that I'm not. Only a toddler. You're probably faster than, than, than a little toddler boy. Once a guy, he, I'm, I'm, come on, man. Come on, man. You can't run faster than a 10-year-old boy. Stop it. Not you, not not you like this. Some males that are so taller than some that, women and some that are short. You don't believe that a biological male has a physical advantage in sports over a biological female? Not as a, a definitive statement. Give me an example. <laughs> well, no, I, I don't think so. <laughs> Senator Kennedy is so funny. His facial expression is so funny. It's a very serious topic, but it, it's funny to me because I'm like, why are we this is elementary stuff. How, how, how many female <laughs> members of the NBA do you see? Well, I can say that, you know, there's been this news article about men that think that they could beat Serena Williams in tennis. They can. Right? That they think that they could actually score a point on her. Um, and it's just not the case. Didn't they play um, a man that was like ranked 300 or something and they couldn't even score a point? With, with, come on, man. They couldn't even win a game. Stop it. Even Serena Williams said that she they can't. What? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? These are the type of people that tell their female kids to challenge boys at school. Don't do that, man. You get your child hurt. Hey, she is stronger than that. What's your... <laughs> well, actually, it's they... funny because Andy Murray, he oh, he was joking go. about um, myself and him playing a match. And I'm like, Andy, seriously, like, are you kidding me? Because for me, tennis and men's tennis and women's tennis are completely almost two separate sports. So I'm like, if I were to play Andy Murray, I would lose 6-0, 6-0 in five to six minutes, maybe 10 minutes. Because it's not, No, it's, it's true. It's honestly, true. It's a completely... Really? Facts. It's a completely different sport. The men are a lot faster, and me and um they they get they serve harder, they hit hard. It's just a different game. And I love to play women's tennis, and I I only want to play girls because I don't want to be embarrassed. I would not do the tour. I wouldn't do Billie Jean any justice. So Andy, stop it. Yeah. Both Serena and Venus lost to the 203rd ranked male tennis player, which they're phenoms for women. Um, my experience, my husband, he swam at University of Kentucky as well. In terms of accolades and in terms of national ranking i was a much better swimmer than him um he could kick my butt any day of the week without trying okay i i, I just think miss robinson i'm just I th i'm trying to understand where you're coming from i think you lose a lot of credibility when you don't concede that a, a biological male ha has physical advantages over a biological female I, I mean i just think that's a proven fact and you really hurt your credibility. And I, I think that, um, I think everybody ought to be free to be themselves. And what you do in your bedroom or what I do in my bedroom with a consenting adult is nobody's business. Mm -hmm. But if what I do in, in, a, in, in my bedroom with a consenting adult, if I decide I want to tell somebody's child about it, then, I, then other people have rights too. Very and true. Parents have rights. True. And I think biological females have rights to be <clears throat> able to compete fairly in sport. In the feminism movement has, has advanced so much that the best version of a woman right now is a man. <laughs> in, 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 in sports. So I, I really... I really think you hurt your credibility when you refuse to acknowledge that biological males have an advantage. They're going to break all the records. Like, man, what's the women's deadlift record right now? I'll go and break it tomorrow. I don't <laughs> I'm going to break it. I'll go to McDonald's all day, eat a bunch of cheeseburgers, and then go to the gym and just lift it and just break the record like that without even breaking a sweat. Joe, biological females. It kind of makes me wonder about all your testimony. What I'm trying to say is that there is not a definitive advantage in all cases. Mm -hmm. Sir, I don't know if you believe that you could beat Serena Williams in tennis, but I probably think that that's not the case. Men quiet. Of course he can't. He's never played tennis in his life. And he's like, he's like 100 years old. Well, your argument is stupid. Like the glasses you're wearing right now. 
There are not all cases where all men are physically superior to all women. And at the end of the day, in this conversation, we're not talking about that. We're talking about trans women who are, in fact, women, who deserve to play in a gender that matches their sports, who deserve all the benefits that Ms. Gaines is talking about. And as a cisgender black woman, I can say definitively that my womanhood is not threatened by a transgender person asserting hers as well. My message would be that it's not transphobic to acknowledge how women deserve respect, how we deserve safety, how we deserve fairness, we deserve our keeping our dignity. It's not transphobic to say that. Um, it, it's not transphobic to say that you can't change your sex. Sex is down to a chromosomal level, and that's not something that can be changed, and that matters in sports. Your biology, that, sports is the one area where that, your sexual chromosomes matter. Um, and again, I'll, I'll echo Harley's message as well, is you're not alone. The overwhelming majority of people regarding this issue of fairness in women's sports agree that having men in women's sports is wrong and that it's unfair and it's a violation to, again, our privacy and rights to safety as women. Um, so that would be my message, to be bold, be empowered, and before anything, stand firm in the truth, biological truth.